Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some home updates. So we've been doing quite a bit to our home, redecorating it, changing a few things around. Some things have been planned and some things have been unexpected and not planned at all, such as this living room redecoration. So long story short, a family member moved house. And when they moved house, they had the most beautiful sofa that me and Jordan have loved for ages. Ever since they got it, we've always said, that is just such a beautiful sofa. It's our dream sofa. But we were happy with the one we had, so we never thought any more of it. They moved house and their sofa wouldn't fit in their new living room. And they knew how much me and Jordan love their sofa. So they gave us the opportunity to have it. And we felt like it was an opportunity we just couldn't turn down. So in comes a new sofa to our living room, but it just didn't go with the decoration that we had in here. We had quite cool tones. The walls were a cool gray. It just didn't go. The sofa was warm. It was more of a grayish rather than a grayish, and it just didn't go with the room. So in order to keep the sofa and make it fit in with the decor, we've had to completely redecorate our living room, which isn't such a bad thing because also I've fallen in love with plants, house plants, and the whole house plant vibe really goes with our new living room. So here is our lovely new sofa. As you can see, oh, there's a baby toy under the sofa. <laughs> As you can see, it's a completely different style to our last one. It's still a corner sofa, but it's more of a classic style. It's really gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna get some different cushions. I want some more tassel ones, like more modern looking ones then the cream ones on there, although I do like them, but um, I'm just gonna add a personal touch. And then this brings me on to my gallery wall. So this video is partly sponsored by Decenio. You guys will probably know by now, I am the Decenio UK ambassador. Decenio is a brand that I absolutely love to work with. Their art and their products are just stunning and completely my style. I go on that website and I can scroll for hours and put together so many different combinations in my head. I absolutely love the gallery wall tool that they have where you can put pieces of art together and envisage how they would look within your home. So me and Jordan both created a gallery wall and we thought we'd get the boys input and see which they think would look best in our new living room. So we thought it'd be really fun to get the boys to choose our pictures for our new gallery wall. So me and Jordan have used the create your own gallery wall feature on the Decenio website. I love that feature on the website. It makes it so simple and easy to visualize what you want and um, we love it. So we've put together a piece each and we're gonna let the boys vote and choose which one they like best. Here is the ones that I've chosen. And here are the ones that Jordan has chosen. We're going to let the boys decide. What, so, what are we doing? We just got back from motocross. And we're going to pick which pictures we want. So we've got picture A, picture B. Right. These are the dark plants. Boys, obviously you know which are the best, don't you? Here are the light plants. I want the light Jensen likes the Pardon? light ones. And me like the light ones. You just said you like the dark ones. Yeah. Hang on. Do that again. Which ones do you like? Because I'm not being fobbed off here. So, this is choice A, these dark I ones. I already know. And this is choice B. Mm. That's what I'm using choice B. You want to go with choice B, which is these ones? Yeah. Jesse, yeah. which ones do you want to go with? The size B. You want these ones? Yeah. So, those ones? Yeah. Those are the ones you want? Oh. My dad didn't win. Well, those are the ones that Mummy picked. Yeah. Yay! Yay! So mummy won! Bye, what about dad? What no, about I dad? Do, I do really like those ones though. Can we get them as well? Do you like those boys? Yeah, all yeah. three of them. Why don't, don't we get those? Why, why don't we get them for the spare room? Yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm still going to get them because I really like them. We need some for the spare room as well. So um, That's my vibe, yeah. that. Because it reminds me of holiday. Anything reminding me of holiday, I love. So they can go in the living room and then these can go in the spare room. Spare room. I love them. I think they're really cool. I'm a cool guy, that's why. Oh yeah. How can you trick my boys? I did not trick your boys. Actually. Mm. 
I honestly thought they'd choose yours. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> and then I got, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I really like yours though. So, here's a, a little test for you. What does Chow Bella mean? Do you know what? I didn't know this because Ellie told me. Ah, oh, what? Hello, beautiful. <sighs> did you know that? Yes, I did know that. How did you know that? I don't know, I just do. It's oh, like a God. saying, isn't it? Mm, it is, isn't and it? And that's what you are, darling. Oh, thank you, Ciao darling. Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> so, I didn't win, but still going to get them. Still going to get them, because mm -hmm. we really like We're them. We're doing the spare room up, well, when we can. Going to get it done up. Mm -hmm. Put some wardrobes in there. Oh, yes. Been waiting a long time for... Are they going to be my wardrobes or yours? Do you reckon we should go for white frames for the spare room? Actually, yeah. Because we're doing what kind yeah, of vibe we're doing? Yeah, fresh in there and white. Fresh. I've no we noticed that as soon as we painted this lounge, it like, oh hello, Ruti. It um, we like lightened everything up and made it look a bit bigger. So that's kind of a nice vibe, isn't it? So we like the light, the light stuff. So here are the Desenio prints before they get changed, and here are the prints that won. So this is actually my design, and I think they look so lovely and so fresh in this room. But we did order the other prints as well to go in the spare room. But when they've arrived, I'm not sure if they're gonna look better in here. So I'm gonna put them up and see what I think. In here is the gallery wall that Jordan picked. Now, I've put it up and I actually prefer the first ones, but I still do love these ones. And these would look lovely somewhere else in the house. So we're gonna keep them, but I'm gonna put up the other ones to go there. So that is a finished look of our Desenio gallery wall. I love how fresh it looks in here and it gives a really lovely vibe without being too overpowering because I want the colour in this room to come from our plants and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I do have a shelf up here which I have some eucalyptus so that's not real. And then I have my string of pearls which is real. So this shelf I got from Ikea. So Desenio have a huge summer sale over on their website at the moment. They have a massive 30% off. And if you use my code LUCYSUMMER, that gives you an extra 10% off. So if you were thinking of getting Desenio prints for your home, now is the right time. I will leave a direct link in the description box. My code is valid until midnight on the 29th of July, but it's not valid on frames, hand-picked or personalised items. So here are my other Desenio prints, ready to go in other places around my home. But as I said, Desenio are a brand I'm so proud to work with and that I genuinely love so, so much. So we also have a new rug in here. I was looking for a new rug everywhere, but I couldn't find one that I loved and that I felt went with the room. So we went to Ikea and I saw this one and it was an absolute bargain at £40. That price was only in store online, it is £70, but I'll leave it linked below. But for £40, you just can't go wrong, and it goes really, really nicely in here. It's a kind of rough finish, but looks lovely. We're also getting our flooring changed in the living room in a few weeks' time, so when that is done, I'll make sure I film that as well, but I can't wait to change the floor in here. The carpet we have in here came free with our home, it was a new build home, and we've got the carpets free. I love it, but it just doesn't quite go with the whole new decoration we have going on in here. Um, so I'm very excited to get that changed. I also got these woven vases from Ikea. I'm gonna get some dried floral arrangements to go in there. I think that will look so lovely. On my TV unit, I have about 100 houseplants. <laughs> um, they're not staying there. They are gonna go in different places, but just until I find permanent homes for them, they're going to stay there for now. I do have a whole to-do list of what I need to do with all my houseplants. So they're not in their permanent homes. But for now, they're living there. So I have my two string of hearts. A baby toy and my phone. My gorgeous string of pearls. And have two succulents, which I got for my birthday. And then we have this, which Jordan actually bought from our local B&Q. It goes so lovely in the corner. And we were looking for a plant that lived well in a shady spot. And um, he went in and this one had a shady spot tag on it. So we're very impressed. And that basket I got from TK Maxx. So on the windowsill, I still have the gold candle holders I got from Ikea. And I then have this Hoya 
Carnosa, which is such a gorgeous houseplant. It's one of my favourites I've got. It's meant to bloom a gorgeous pink flower and um, I can't wait for that. I then have my string of hearts and my baby string of pearls. Up we come to the spare room. So this house is a four bedroom house and we have the master bedroom where me and Jordan sleep obviously. We have bedroom number two which is quite big and the boys have bunk beds in there. They love sharing. It won't be forever obviously, they will need their own space. And then the twins have their room. They're not in their room yet, but they will be at some point. And then we have the spare room. So I've never, I never really know what to do with this room, but I feel like all of the other rooms can get so cluttered with stuff. I wanna make this room the storage room. It also has my iMac computer in as well. So I need to sort that out. I'm gonna redecorate the desk. I was thinking of spraying the desk. Um, you know you can get furniture spray paint, so I'm gonna give that so I'm gonna give that a go when I get a chance. We're also gonna get proper wardrobes built in here. So ever since we've moved in, it's never had a wardrobe and it's just had I'll show you. It's just had that in here, which is a very cheap makeshift wardrobe. We actually couldn't afford wardrobes when we moved into this house. So that was the only option we had really was to do it really cheap and um yeah, do it like that. But we are going to get IKEA packs wardrobes, which I'm very excited about. I'm just waiting for the ones I want to come in stock. And then they are going to go there, which will look so much better. I then got this chest of drawers to go in here. Now, this kind of colour wood is not usually my style. I do love it and I think it looks really nice, but I am going to paint it. So that is another thing I have on my to-do list, is to paint this chest of drawers. I then got these knobs from Zara Home. I think they just make the chest of drawers look so nice. And I got the chest of drawers from Argos of all places and it was such good value for money and it looks lovely and it's also great for storage. I'm gonna get a big mirror which is gonna go in the corner here. There's obviously gonna be loads of house plants. And then next to the desk, I'm gonna get something else that will, um, add to our storage solutions. So we have here my new dressing table, which is gonna go in our bedroom. We are doing a few updates in the bedroom, but none of them are finished yet. So there's no point, you sh so there's no point showing you anything, but I absolutely love this dressing table from Mason's Du Monde. Mason's Du Monde is where I got my TV unit from as well. While I'm in the playroom, I thought I'd show you these little baskets which were gifted to me from Belly Bambino. I think they're so sweet. I love the whole rainbow theme and they look so lovely in here. I also have some dried flowers which I got sent actually as part of a PR package with another product, but um, they're so gorgeous. Here is a big Belly Bambino basket. I think they're lovely. Oh, and of course, another house plant. <laughs> this room isn't completely finished yet, so I don't wanna to show too much of it. But there is another Belly Bambino basket with another house plant in. Hello everyone. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. This is my garden. <laughs> I've uh, been instructed to show you around the old uh, garden. Some garden updates. So, here we go. I'll just quickly whip, whip round. Got this. Got this. Don't, guys, I honestly don't know what they're called. I know a few of them, but I wanted to give it a little bit of an exotic vibe. Exotic vibe. Um, got to paint this, obviously. It's like a little seating area. Got the lights up at night. They've actually stretched a bit in the sun, so I'm going to have to sort that. Um, just going to show you the plants I've got, just in a little array of stuff. Some nice hydrangeas here. That one's growing really good. That one is. That one, not so good. But obviously next year, they're gonna be, it's gonna be all green and big. Uh, got some more exotic stuff here. A nice little fern. Oh, what are these called again? I can't remember, but I like these. Gives me the Lanzarote vibe. Uh, the tomato plant, he needs a good water. I was at motocross yesterday, so, He's looking a bit parched, to be fair. Oh no. Uh-oh. Definitely not one. But we got the tomatoes. They're, they're coming nicely. I can't wait. I love a tomato. Um, 
Oh, I put the oh look, all the seeds are on here. Lovely. And dirty spatula, brilliant. So tried the birds, we love the birds coming in the garden, boys love the birds. It's really nice. Just you know, just a few little plants here and there. I've got two pots to put them in. So I'm gonna put them over here, little seating area. Obviously not the cushions out yet, but we've just got some cushions. We want to get a table, but that probably won't be till next year because they're actually quite expensive, getting a nice table. So, that's a quick little garden tour. What do you think? We're not going to spend, I didn't want to spend a fortune on doing a garden that because I, a bit of paint and a bit of a tidy up. It still needs to power wash the patio and stuff. Um, I just put some pebbles in that down around the sides you know just to spruce it up a little bit um, but we didn't want to spend a fortune getting loads of stuff done because you know the possibility of moving and the next year or something maybe who knows see what the market goes like but um, it's nice nice to chill out with some plants I've actually got into my plants now every night I do the water and hopefully soon I'm gonna get the tomato plants I really want a tomato off my plant not the, not the ones I killed. Luckily, my mum gave me those ones. So we've actually got something off of. Well, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, many more updates coming. I'm painting at the moment, so that's fun. I'm putting furniture together. Love it. I couldn't finish my home update video without showing you my pride and joy. This is my Birds of Paradise plant. And since I've had it, it's grown a whole new leaf. The biggest leaf is new and wasn't there when I got it. And it's just doing so well, which I'm so pleased about. When I got it, I was really unsure because it is obviously a tropical plant that doesn't grow in the UK at all and is not, is not for the UK climate. But indoors, it's doing really well. So I'm so pleased. And I'm definitely gonna get another one, but I wanted to try it out with a smaller one first and see how I got on with it. But I adore it. Don't forget to go and check out Desenio's summer sale with an extra 10% off using Lucy Summer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and I shall see you guys soon.